Nigerians are asking for full independence for anti-graft agencies as a nation. Some residents of Jalingo in an interview with TVC News say the ongoing war against corruption may end up a mirage if the executive arm of government continues to interfere in the anti-graft agency's activities. To them, their expectations are yet to be met by the agencies. The anti-corruption is a welcome development. Every Nigerian, both in diaspora, welcome Buhari, leave him with kudos for bringing war against corruption. But in my own observation, what I have seen in Buhari administration is yielding positive results in war against corruption. But it's selective politically, as people would see it. Even myself, I have seen because it's religious bias in some of his uh, anti-corruption in Nigeria. Whether genuinely or not, that the fight against corruption is selective. And uh, when, you, when you look at it again, the current fight is, is, all, is targeted at individuals. There has never been any institutionalized, institutionalized any attempt in institutionalized fight against corruption. When you look at during the administration of uh, General uh, President Olusha Gwambasajo, he introduced ICPC, he introduced EFCC. These are institutions that are established to fight corruption. When Jonathan was there, he brought in BVN, which has gone a long way to reduce drastically the incidences of corruption in, in, the, in the country. These are, these are things that will outlive an administration. But when the government just concentrates on arresting people and just prosecuting, without uh, uh, strengthening the institutions, of uh, anti-graft institutions, then the, we are, immediately the government leaves office. That's, that effort dies. So government should, should, should be more pragmatic in its fight against corruption.